Extreme Foolishness TV. Today, I'll be talking to you guys about what I feel is going on with the Republican Party with respect to domestic terrorism. Congress wants to form an independent commission to investigate the January 6th terrorist the uprising that happened against the United States by domestic terrorists. And you have 175 Republicans who opposed forming an independent commission. In the House, 175 Republicans voted no to forming an independent commission to investigate the January 6th insurrection. Think about it, 175 Republicans pretty much voted on the side of terrorists. These are the same Republicans who are going to scream, Blue Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter. What about the lives of officers who died at the hands of the terrorists? Why wouldn't you want an independent commission to investigate it so that way whatever happened on that day that did not prevent this terrorism from happening should be investigated so that way it won't happen again like you would think this would be a bipartisan legislation you would think this would be a bipartisan support unanimous I remember when they had Al Qaeda they had ISIS now Republicans are standing on the side of domestic terrorists just think about it. I thought this was the party of law and order, the party of following the constitution. What happened to investigating domestic terrorists, to investigating what happened, the breakdown that led to this terrorist taking over the US Capitol and putting the lives of congressmen and women, as well as senators, including the vice president at risk. I mean, is this too much to ask for? To have people, it, it would be like, for example, if somebody murdered a, a family member and the police is trying to put together a team to investigate why the murder happened or what led to a breakdown in security that caused the murder to happen. And you have some people opposing forming a group to investigate why the murder happened. That is pretty much supporting the murderers. It is the same thing here. That lets you know that there's some, they have something to hide. Most likely they are scared that an independent commission would expose Trump as being complicit in the uprising that happened. Because from my understanding, the National Guard were about a couple of hours late to respond to help the US Capitol officers and Trump was out there still tweeting. He was not, he didn't seem to be bothered. The only time he gave a speech was after he was pressured. So now you have the Republic, pretty much the Republican party, a majority of the congressmen and women supporting domestic terrorists. This is a new low in American history, people. This just lets you know the direction of the Republican Party. They are rather aligned with terrorists than support law and order. This Republican Party is no longer the party of law and order. I don't want to hear any Republican saying blue lives matter because you guys obviously don't support blue lives. What happened to the lives? The blue lives who died on that day. Who's going to get justice for their family? Who's going to prevent this from ever happening again? Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that the 175 Republicans who voted to oppose forming an independent commission to investigate the January 6th insurrection are supporting terrorists. Do you think that Trump still has a grip on the Republican Party? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and hit the bell notification so that anytime I drop more videos, you'll be in the know. Ladies and gentlemen, stay on the side of good support law and order 
reject domestic terrorists, and most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.